Ta-da! How do I look? Blimey, are you going out on the ras? <sighs> I wish. <laughs> no, I just thought I'd jazz it up a little bit on my last day of work before the wedding. You mad, do you? <laughs> I hate it when people say that. I'm mad, me. And they normally back it up with something completely dull and boring, like, I don't know. I ate three Jaffa cakes last night. I'm mad, me. Yeah, I know. How does this it look? Great. You don't think it makes my mouth disappear? If I go any darker, I don't want to look too tarty. Oh, the decisions of a bride. <laughs> Looks nice. It's come around quick, hasn't it? The wedding. Yeah, it has. Let's see what the girls at work think. Kiss, please. Mwah. Right. Mr. Grimm's a bee. I can't stand around all day chatting. The sooner I get to work, the sooner I get home, the sooner I'll be Mrs. Tyrone Dobbs. <laughs> I'll see you later. See you. Can you still get off work and meet me at 11 at Tina's? There's stuff we need to sort out. Don't worry, Kirsty's at work. Yeah, it's sorted. I'll take you on my way. Okay, I best go. Right, I'll see you later then. Bye. Oh, right, uh, will you be all right if I get off? Sure, yeah. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on the patient. As will I. Oh. Fear not, Nurse Taylor is here. Oh, right, well, uh, brilliant. Well, good luck. <laughs> well, luck won't be needed. I'm like a young Hilary DeVay, very good in a crisis. Right, well, well I'll get off then. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, Hilary. Yeah. Don't you worry about us. <laughs> Has the liniment been effective? Uh, actually, yes. Oh, I knew it would be. Mother used to say a little joke before she applied it. She'd say, Mary, the liniment is imminent. <laughs> Actually, it's not much of a joke, is it? I suppose not. What, what, what are you doing? Uh, just warming up my fingers for a hot digit massage. It can be very therapeutic touch. I, I, I'm not 100% comfortable with being touched, actually. Oh, that's what Mummy said when she slipped a disc at Way and Pay, but after three sessions with me... I, 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 think, I think what would be most useful is if you just got on and, and served, if I'm honest. Honesty is the best policy. <laughs> oh, morning! Morning. Oh. <laughs> You're all right, Roy. Oh, very debilitated and refusing any attempts at palliative care. Oh, right. Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> what can I get you? Oh, just a uh, coffee, please, please. Oh, okay. I'm on it. No, I can do it, Roy. Oh, two women fighting over me. I still got it, Roy. As soon as the reception starts, I'm gonna get Ruby, pick up my stuff from you, and I'll be out of there. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to stop with her a second longer than I have to. It's killing me. It's killing me? Look, Ty, listen. How are you going to afford all the legal bills? Can fighting her through the courts? You know you're talking thousands and thousands of pounds. Don't worry. I've got a plan. And you don't have to come with me until the dust settles. No. I'm with you. Every step of the way. All right, mate, come in. Yeah, thanks for coming. You seemed a bit panicked on the phone. No, I'm all right, you know. Was it? Pre-wedding jitters. Yeah. I'm going to cut straight to the point. I need your help with something. OK. I want to sell my share of the garage. Will you buy it off me? What? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, why? You know, I'm not sure I've even got that sort of cash tie. I know it sounds daft, but I want to give Kirsty a hundred minutes to remember. Well, you want to sell your share to go on holiday? No, on honeymoon, it's a bit different. And, and what good's all that money doing tied up when I could be spending it? Ty, that money's your future. It's your kid's future. Well, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Cheers, Kevin. I knew you won't let me down. Look, are you sure about this? Yeah. How much will you give me for it? Hiya. Just keep it between us, yeah? Of course. What are you whispering about? 
boring garage stuff. <laughs> you need to be propping your eyes open with matchsticks, if I told you. Well, then, fellas, I don't want to know. Is that kettle on? We'll be in a minute. You look nice, Kirsty. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> right, I'll leave you to it. You looking forward to the wedding? Yeah, of course. Are you? Oh, ask a silly question. I have a feeling it's going to be the best day of my life. <laughs> Right. I'll see you then. I'll see you out. See ya. I'll, uh, think about it, yeah? Yeah. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> right. I am now off to be pampered. Leaving you to look after Ruby and do all the hard work. Good, because I don't want to be pampered. I can promise you that. Well, it's just this once. After tomorrow, I'm going to be such a good wife to you. I promise you I will. I'll be the best wife ever. I know. Do you, though? I mean, I won't blame you for having your doubts after... ...stuff that's happened. I wouldn't. But what I'm saying is there's not going to be any more of that. I'm going to make you the happiest husband ever. Sounds good to me. Oh, it's going to be even better than it sounds. <laughs> right, i better get off. Do you have your suit to collect? Kirk's bringing it. You just go enjoy yourself. Mm, I really love... Hi, Mama. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. Uh, no, I'm OK. Sit down. Been on the phone to my solicitor. Says he can draw up a contract, no problem. I've just got to ring him. It'll take a couple of days. Ooh, you are in a hurry. Yeah, I am, actually. So, come on, then. What we're talking? Figures? How much? I was thinking about 20 grand. <laughs> you are? Come on, it's worth loads more than that. It's a backstreet garage. All right, 15. I I'll take 15. No, you won't, because you're not getting 15. It's worth about that altogether. Oh, come on. The premises are cramped. We've hardly any space. We manage. The equipment's on its last legs. That's the first time you said that. And the important thing is, what is the business? What is it? Yeah, what is it? Well, it's a place where people bring cars to get fixed. Yeah, and who fix them? You and me. <laughs> yeah, you do when you're there, but you're not at the moment. Yeah, I know. So it's me. I'm the business, so explain to me again exactly why I should give you £15,000. I need the money. I need it. Why? I can't tell you why. I'll take ten grand. I'm not just saying all this to get the price down. No, it's funny. That's exactly what's happening, though, isn't it? Five. Five grand. Well, we'll, we'll agree ten. We'll just say it's, uh... A wedding present. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hiya. Hiya. Yeah, I guess who's pregnant? What, besides me? Kylie. <gasps> well, Nick, we've only just found out. Oh! And it's not supposed to be common knowledge. In fact, I'm not even supposed to be telling you. So, can you keep it to yourself? Yeah, of course I will. Ah, oh, well, congratulations. Thanks. We should set up a mother and babies club. Yeah, it's a few up there. Yeah, I'll be keeping mine. Thanks for the reminder, David. Well, I don't know how you could do it. Well, you do what you have to, don't you? But... Yeah, I know, but, you know, the knowing that it's my baby, only mine and Kai's. Yeah, OK, David, thank you. I get the message. Well, I couldn't do it. Well, I doubt you'll ever have to. Anyway, I've got a scan to get to, so, uh, see ya. A scan? I asked her this morning as she started a project. She's only gone and finished it. Good. I know she's a right little trooper. Hiya. Here she is. Hiya, Hi. Tina. Can I get you something? Uh, no, no time. I want better be going. Yeah. Well, hang on, are you not waiting for us? No, we're going to uh, pick her up at the factory. Come on. Good luck. Yay, bring us back another picture. We will. So which one's mine? Do they not have names on? Can't see any. Well, I don't know then. One of them is. Well, let's try one then. We don't want to wait until tomorrow and find out we've got one or another's, do it? It'd be funny if we did that. Then Kirsty went and married me instead of you. <laughs> yeah, it would. I'll tell you what, Kirsty, you couldn't do me a favour, could you? Of course, yeah. I've got to nip out for five minutes. Do you mind hanging around keeping an eye on Ruby? Of course I can. Experienced babysitter me. You just ask Carl Liam. <laughs> You'll have to be quick, though. Carl is in the right mood at the factory. No. You OK? Yeah, but are you? Counting the minutes. Are you sure I can leave this with you? Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Oh. It's just 
Just so I can get a quick getaway. Yeah. And are you sure you're not going to tell her what you're doing? What, and you think I should? No, no, if you want to get away in one piece. Which I do. I'll leave this in my bedroom. She has to see it. Are you sure she doesn't suspect anything? I almost wish she did. It's the hardest thing you ever have a go on about. How happy she is and how she can't wait to be married to me. And, and the whole time I'm just thinking, how bad's it going to be for her when she finds out? Yeah, but it's her own fault. She can't help it, can she? You're not having second thoughts, are you? I'm having too many thoughts. Thoughts about everything. No, I'm not. I have to do it. I know I do. I just wish it was over. Well, it soon will be. And it'll just be me and you, eh? Yeah. For the rest of our lives. That's what I've got to think of tomorrow. When I'm saying those vows to Kirsty. Just imagine you saying them to me. <laughs> oh, well. Come here. Mm. There we are. There's baby now. Wow. Yeah. You can see the heart beating. Isn't it amazing? Is that, um, is that a hand? Yeah. <laughs> and how soon can that be drawn up? Oh, that's great. Um, although it's probably best you don't send it to me. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to be the next couple of days. Yeah, I'll pick it up. Listen, I'm, I'm really sorry, I've got to go, OK? Ty, can you give me a hand? Yeah, sure. Can you take these? I've got two more up there. Um, I thought you was being pampered, not buying up half of Manchester. It's just bits and pieces for tonight. I haven't forgotten, have you, cos, uh, I don't want you. No, I'm, I'm meeting Kirk. In fact, why don't you get ready? I'll, I'll unpack all this. Excuse me. I've spent all day being got ready. You're saying it's been a waste of money. I look a right mess, do I? No, you look great. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> and how are you, Ruby darling? You're going to Emily's. Nobody's called to say they can't come, have they? No, no one. Good. Right. You're going to get off then? What, now? Yeah. Is that your suit? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, do yeah, you want to see it? No, I'll, I'll see it tomorrow. And you've got everything else you need. Um, not yet. I'm just... Ty, I've seen your bag. It's in the hallway. So behave. I don't want to find you at midnight, stark naked, tied to a lamppost. <laughs> Talking are you? It's just me and Kirk. I don't know what he's got planned. <laughs> Go on, shoe. What's the matter? Nothing. It's just a bit early, isn't it? Not for me, I've got loads to do. Go on, I'll see you at the church. <laughs> I'll see you then. Hey. Remember, we both love you. Yeah. Bye. I'll try, love. Coffee to go, please. Hey, so, how was it then? Sorry? The scan. You've had it, haven't you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was fine. Ah, and did you get a picture? Um, no, but I think Gavin is here. Oh, well, that's not fair, eh? And I'll give you one. Yeah, well, I could have had one, but I'm just not one for collecting photos and I've been... All right, I, um, I'll get you coffee. Liam, help you. Oh, you've done everything. Well, I think so. Oh. Tell you what, let's have a drink, get things started. You started to feel nervous. A little bit. It's like, I can't imagine what it's going to feel like when I'm going up the aisle and everybody's there and then the vicar waves his magic wand and I turn into a married woman. Oh, how weird is that? Because you always want to get married. Oh, no. <laughs> the only marriage I've seen up close is my parents and that's enough to put anybody off. <laughs> I'd like to. Oh. One day. Excuse me. <laughs> One day soon. Thanks. Cheers. Did you go for that baby scan? Yeah. 
And was it? How big's a baby? Well, I don't know, because I didn't see it. What do you mean? Because I didn't look. Look, David, I know it's my baby because I'm carrying it, but it's not really mine, is it? I'm, I'm getting paid, it's a job. Well, yeah, I know, but you must be getting some sort of kick out of it. Yeah, I'll get the kick when I get the money. Otherwise, I don't really think about it. Hiya. I've written a speech for tomorrow. Yeah? About you and Kirsty. Yeah, it would be. And about why you're marrying her. And why am I? Well, you know, because you love her. You can't live without her. Yeah. Yeah, I love her. I can't live without her. Would you rather have said something else? No. And listen, Kirk, I'm grateful. Whatever happens, I hope we can stay pals. Why shouldn't we? What's up, Ty? Have you ever had to do something that, that you know is really bad, but that you just had to? You had to. I don't know what you're on about. You will. But what I do know is you couldn't do a really bad thing if you tried. Because you're a good person, one of the best. Which is why Kirsty's marrying you. to the person you love. Mm. Beautifully put, Sally. <sighs> Coming from a woman who's devout. Yeah, well, you never know what's around the corner, do you? Well, I do. I know that me and Ty are going to be happy and live the rest of our lives together. Well, you think that? Mm. Well, of course she does, otherwise she wouldn't be getting married. Well, I suppose people get married for all sorts of reasons other than loving somebody. Like <laughs> what? Putting a roof over your head? Oh, for the sake of a child. Well, that's not why we're doing it. No, no, I wasn't meaning you. I mean, what would be the point? It doesn't change anything for Ruby. No, I know. No, it's just for us. Me and Ty. Aww. Aww. Mm -hmm. Or somebody could have a really rotten name, like Florence Big Bum, and they want to change it. <laughs> Florence Big Bum. <laughs> I think I know her. <laughs> That's a reason, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I wonder what was digging into me. Kirsty, is this yours? I've just found it. No, it's not mine. Anybody? No. I know, you know, part of me always thought that Tina would let us down. Oh, yes. Yeah, but she's like now, what, third of the way through? Yeah, I think it's a bit touch and go, isn't it? Mind you, she seems to settle into it. Mm. So she wants to go through with it. You talking about me? No. Why? Should we be? You usually are when you whispering. Yeah, well, if we were, we'd only be saying good things. You know that her teachers all agree she's doing really well. She's finished a project on time. More than mine ever said how about me. Well done, love. We're very proud of you. You know, if we carry on like this, me and you are going to have nothing to worry about. Oh, I'll be your first. Cheers. Sal, what were you called before you got married? Sally. Sally <laughs> 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 Seddon, do you know? <laughs> you want to say it now? It sounds like a completely different person, not me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you wouldn't want to be married to Carla, would you? Well, I wouldn't, would I? <laughs> you mean she's the right moody gal? Oh, she is. Be fair. Fair? Well, she might have other things going on in her life. Well, if she does, happen she should keep them to herself and not go taking them out on us. Agreed. So, are you going to tell her that? Carla, though. Oh, no. Well, why would I wouldn't? Yeah, you tell her, Sean. <laughs> oh, we'll be right behind you. Yeah, I bet you will. A long way behind me. <laughs> right. Um, everybody. Um, I'm sorry. What's the matter? Are you all right? Not really, no. Um, I've got a migraine coming on. Oh, dear. Oh, that can be awful. Oh, as if you wouldn't mind just leaving everybody. What? Are you checking us out? Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, can we just clear up no, first? Just, just get out, will you please? Just get oh, out. Right, right, we will then. Are you going to be all right for tomorrow? I will if you just leave me alone. Thank Night you. then. Oh, well, I hope you feel better soon. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow.
Are you OK? Yeah, um, I, I just realised I'd left my mobile at home, that's all. Oh, don't worry. I'm off the grid as well. As far as Beth's concerned, I'm incognito tonight. It's going to be epic. As long as it's not a late one. What's your idea of not a late one? Ten o'clock. In the morning, I hope. I just want to be fresh for tomorrow and you've always got the reception. It's not the same. I knew it'd be a rubbish best man. Don't be daft. I failed you. Hey, I had a long face. Oh, he's ready to call it a night. I beg your pardon? No, I'm just tired. Tired? Not on my watch. Let's have a little fire water come liven things up. Eh? Well, well, we're not doing shots. Uh, doctor's orders. Right, well, just let me nip home first. No way. Right, God and country, salut. Bombs up. <laughs> so, where's the right to be? Oh, don't ask. She's had a funny turn. Went totally mental, in other words. Oh, she's got a migraine. Oh, call the other one. Well, this is a very emotional time for her. Honestly, it were a disaster. This is the worst endo I've been to since my cousin Chantel caught her maid of honour, doing the honours with the groom-to-be. So did your cousin call off the wedding? Did she, Eck? She gave him two years of hell and took him to cleaners. Oh, ouch. Mm. Very big on retribution, that side of the family. And how the boys are getting along? Oh, I've tried texting Kirk. He's not replying. Oh, sounds intriguing. Hey, maybe we should gate crash. Get a little bit of mix and match action going on. Oh. Oh, no, we are not breaking up the stag do. What? Us? Come on, drink up. Mm -hmm. Michelle, we're going to the bistro in a bit if you fancy joining us. Oh, thanks, but I think I'll give it a mix. Cheer up. Might never happen. Oh, sorry. OK, so I take it the meeting wasn't a success then? No, try a complete shambles. So first I get there late because of the mysterious flat tyres. Then when I actually do arrive, I find that Rob's already been and pinched the business. What? How did he know? Somebody tipped him off more like. Yeah, well, if I get my hands on him. Are you all right, Sally? You're looking a bit peaky. Sally, please don't tell me it was you blabbed to Rob. Oh, that's just great, that. Ch I don't know what came over me. I, we, we were just chatting and it, it slipped out. He, he, he caught me off guard. I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs Connery, it won't happen again, I promise. I give up, I really do. Nice one, Sally. I hope my hands are up, OK? Evening. Evening. Not interrupting anything, am I? Just watching some telly. Aren't you supposed to be at your end party? <sighs> Wasn't really in the mood. No big deal. Oh. So what can I do for you? Write me in for starters. I don't think that's a good idea. But I, I come in peace, OK? I only want to talk. Can I wait? <laughs> Not really. Please. It's important. This is so much detail. I know. Eh? Mind-blowing, really. It's definitely better than the last photo. Yeah, well, baby's grown since then. <laughs> yeah, but even so, it was just a blob. It was a beautiful, gorgeous blob, mind. More like it. Do you know what? I'm definitely seeing more girl than boy. Really? Yeah. Oh, please. Just ignore him, Gary. He's full of hot air. You're looking at the father of two girls here. Trust me, I've got experience in these kind of things. Yeah, well, boy, girl, it's all good as far as I'm concerned. Hey, it's better than good. It's the most beautiful, wonderful thing in the world. So I take it we can uh, put you top of the list for babysitting duties? Uh, there'd be hell to play if you don't. Hmm. On the subject of babysitting duties, me and your mum wouldn't mind popping to the Rovers. Oh, when? No, it's fine, it's fine, cos it is out anyway. A smashing. Are you sure you don't mind? Of course not. Hey? Cool. But we're not talking babies. Ooh, fair enough. Hey, just think, hey, isn't it exciting? You're gonna be a man, <laughs> <laughs> Don't it look so nervous, I don't bite. Won't put it past you. Like I said, I'm not here to fight. And why are you here? What's so important? Katie will be back any minute, hey, you know. You asked me about the, uh, hen party. You're going to find out anyway. I, uh, I, I went off on one and I totally fell to pieces. Oh. I'm sorry. 
No, you're not. That's OK. I'm the last person who deserves your sympathy. Anyway, it's, uh, it's no excuse for throwing Julie and the others out. I just had a lot on my mind. And a lot of soul searching, so to speak. And? And. What I realised is. I never thought I'd get married. The truth is, I never thought it could happen to someone like me. Yeah, well, you fell on your feet with Tyrone. I couldn't agree more. I know Ty's special. And what's more, I know you know who he is as well. He's a friend. End of story. I'm not suggesting otherwise. Not anymore. Then what's your point? The point is that Tyrone would have invited you to the wedding if things would have been different between us. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter now. I beg to differ. What's done's done, OK? Tomorrow's your day. It's not mine. It's also Tyrone's. And with your help, I'd like it to be a day I'll never forget. My help? Kirsty, what is it you want? I want you to come to our wedding. Don't blame you for being sceptical. Sceptical? Kirsty, you hate my guts. I've got the scars to prove it. And I'm sorry. No, you don't know the meaning of the word. Just hear me out, please. I why beg should you... I? Please tell me why I shouldn't just show you the door now. Because you're a better person than me, that's why. Trust me, it's not something I enjoy admitting, but it's true. Anyway, um, you were a, a big part of Tyrone's life before I came along, and you still are. It hurts, but I accept that now. Why? What's changed? You nearly died. That's what changed. When I saw how cut up Tyrone was, I realised I was fighting a losing battle. Tyrone loves you. He loves you as well. We're just friends. No offence, but that doesn't make it any easier for a person like me. The way I see it, I've got one thing in common, you and me. And that is, we both know how amazing Tyrone is. Something to build on? Yeah, maybe. I just want him to be happy. And that's all I want. Then meet me halfway. Let's give him the wedding he deserves. I'll think about it. I promise. I promise. Thank you. Night. Night. Come on, at least we'd send you having fun. I'm just not feeling right. It's me, it's not you. One more pint. Ah, uh, done. Hiya! What are you doing here? Never mind that, where's Kirsty? Oh, she had a migraine. Came on all of a sudden. So we thought, the more the merrier. <laughs> you don't object, do you? Um, no. 
if we're cramping your style, then... Oh, don't be daft. Right here is where the party starts. Called in reinforcements, I see. Huh? Name your poison. Well, Lewis, I wouldn't say no to a cocktail. I'm going to check on Kirsty. Oh, I'm sure she's fine. I know. It's better to be safe than sorry. I won't be long. Um, John and the others turned up at the bistro, said you had a migraine. Only a mild one, it's fading already. Do you have a nice time? Yeah, Kirk's on top farm. Good. That's what I like to hear. Where's Ruby? I picked her up a while ago from Emily's. Actually, I was going to go check on her. Do you want to come up with me? No, I, I don't want to breathe bare fumes on her. You're wet around there. Of course. Smashing. Back before you know it. for tomorrow, you know. Good nerves. Oh. Well, I don't know that I should tell you now. <laughs> tell me what? Don't freak out. I invited Fizz to the wedding. What? You heard me. <laughs> Went round there early and we had a long overdue chat. I don't, I don't understand, but I, after everything that's happened, I, th I thought she'd be the last person you wanted to see there. It's not just about me, is it? She's your friend, she ought to be there. Yeah, but it's not that simple. You two, you've been at each other's throats for months now. Exactly, and what's that achieved apart from making you miserable? Fizz is to blame, not you. Come on, babe. We both know that's not true. <laughs> I'm confused. I know you are. But you just gotta trust me on this. Tomorrow we start the rest of our lives together. Means putting the past behind us. What did Fizz say? She said she'd think about it. I didn't want to come across as pushy, but I made the first move. As long as you're sure about it. I've never been more sure about anything in my whole life. Now get lost. I don't want you bringing us bad luck. I'll see you in church. Yeah, I'll see you there. I love you. Me too. I'm okay. Maybe we should call and see the doctor. I don't need to see a doctor. I'm fit and healthy and ready to go. I'm a bit touchy, yeah. But that's just nerves. It's perfectly normal. I just want to make sure nothing goes wrong. Yeah, me too. I've made a list. Breakfast at eight. Haircuts at nine. Then back to the flat to get suited and booted. Eleven o'clock. Quick pint in the Rovers to settle our nerves. Church at half past. Kick off at twelve. 
Sorted. Yep. I know you've been worrying about my speech. I've got some killer jokes and some lovey dovey bits towards the end to make everyone go, oh. I'm sure it'll be great. Do you know what? Your wedding is the best day of my life. I mean that. It's the greatest honour ever bestowed upon me. Well, you're doing a great job. Really? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Put it there. I will not let you down. Um, may I offer my congratulations also? Oh, uh, then it's right. Yeah, best of luck, eh? I'll see you in the Rovers later. It's, um, it's free drinks, isn't it? Yeah, just the one drink. And, and breakfast is on the house. No, no, you don't have to do that. Um, this is a special day and, and one you richly do. Well, cheers. You're looking pale again. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna go to the gents, sorry. Nerves. Sleep at all last night. <laughs> really? Oh, we were all worried about you. I oh, know, I feel awful about that. Where's Ruby? Oh, she's having no trouble sleeping. Oh, bless. Oh, I'm really sorry about last night. It's just when I get one of my migraines, I know I need to get into a dark room as soon as possible. It's okay. Oh. You must think I'm a total head case. Oh, my Uncle Richard was a slave to his migraines and no offence, looking at you, it's obvious you've been suffering. Not ideal for a bride on a wedding day. Kirsty, you are going to look stunning. I promise, just let me work my magic. Don't know about magic. I need a miracle. Well, I can do miracles and all. Me too, and I shall start by making water into tea. Chamomile and rosehip, soothing and restorative. Hey, trust me, you're going to look stunning. <gasps> you've not spoken to Tyrone today, have you? No? Good. It's bad luck. I don't believe in bad luck. Exactly. And you don't need to worry about Tyrone. He's a good man. One of the best. Mm. It feels so weird. I can't believe we're doing it. How did you get away? Oh, Kurt bobbed out to get some sweets, so I just slipped out. <laughs> Bless him, so made up to be best man. And then when I was shaking Roy's hand, I could barely look him in the eye. Yeah, well, if they knew the truth, they'd understand. Don't forget what she's done to you, OK? She's forced you into doing this. Yeah. She knew exactly what she was doing when she left your name off that birth certificate. This makes me as bad as her. Er, uh, no, Ty, you're the victim. When the truth comes out, everyone will see that. Thanks, Ty. There you go. Ty. You know, she invited me to the wedding. She invited you? It was really weird. Like she'd had some sudden... Hang of conscience. Mm. More like she wants you there because she thinks she's won. Anything to rub your nose in it. I don't know. Oh, she's going to be so good when she realises jokes in her. I'm not proud of this. I wish I wasn't in this mess. Do you want me to come, Ty? I'll do whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, please. I'm dreading standing up in that church saying them vows. But at least if you're there, you'll know when I'm looking at her I'm talking to you. That way you'll know it's not the biggest pack of lies I've ever told. If you want me there, I'll be there. And I've, I've booked in some B&B uh, family room for two nights. They're going to put an extra cot in for Ruby and we'll just go from there. In a couple of hours, we'll all be together. You can come in now! Time to be for the condemned man. Oh, cheers. Condemned man? He's the luckiest man in the world. Gorgeous girl, beautiful baby. What could get better than that, eh? Congratulations, mate. You're a very lucky man. Thanks. Oh, they do make a lovely couple, don't they? Yeah, they do. Uh, the car's due in, uh, 12 minutes. I mean, he's on bar, isn't he? And no more sneaking off. Yeah, so what's this, mate? Coffee? No, mm -hmm. uh, just a, a jib <laughs> Hey, congratulations, mate. Let me get you a whiskey, yeah? Whiskey chaser? Make it a double. No, no, no more booze. I'm keeping him sober. Yeah, but we could all do with a bit of Dutch courage. Am I right? No, no, one pint. That's his limit. I'm not having anything go wrong at this wedding. Not on my watch. Kevin? Can I have a word? You can have a whole sentence if you like. It's about Jenna. What about her? Keep her away from my daughter. I could suggest you do the same with Sophie. Sophie is the victim here. Jenna was totally out of order. Is that what Sophie told you? I think you may find that that little madam is the cause of all of this trouble. So, I suggest you leave us alone and concentrate on getting her to tell the truth. Well, no one deserves this more than you, mate. I'm made up and you've found someone who makes you really happy. 
Yeah, listen, um, solicitors put the garage contracts in the post if you can sign it ASAP. Hey, and just... Don't worry about that today, mate. You just concentrate on enjoying your big day. Look, I'm really happy for you. Congratulations. Oh, ma. Don't you look fabulous? Oh, fabulous don't even cover it. You look spectacular. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on, Julie, pull yourself together. I've not even got to the church yet. <laughs> come on, you, get up. Tyrone is going to be blown away. Do you think so? Yeah. <laughs> Are you OK? You look a bit pensive. It's just nerves. Well, you have nothing to be nervous about. You are marrying a man who loves you more than anything. Oh, you've got a beautiful baby. This is going to be the best day of your life. Mm -hmm. She's right. This is going to be a day that you will never forget. Yeah. You know what, girls? I think this is going to be a day that nobody forgets. <laughs> Rings, speech, save the pins, hanky. Got everything. Just hope she turns up. Yeah, me too. I put a lot into this wedding. Want it to be the best ever. I feel like everybody's looking at me. Well, take no notice. You've done nothing to be ashamed of. Hey, you keep your chin up. We're going to support you all the way through this. Nice church. Yes, isn't it? It's open every Sunday. You yeah, really? There's not a strong shine on the uh, bride's side. I think they're all uh, police officers. Mm. I think they are all coppers, so best behave you, Dev. Well, at least we know there won't be any trouble. Oh, so sorry. OMG, it's just walked in. What are you doing here? You've not come to cause trouble, have you? I was invited. Really? Yeah. Well, sit with us then and no dramas. Good job, Emily. Come on. I don't like the look of that. She could cause trouble. Kirsty's invited her. Really? Thought she hated her. Well, it's a big day, innit? Maybe she just thought, let bygones be bygones. That girl is a saint. You are so lucky. I do this for a living. Are you okay? No, I'm not. What am I doing? Well, you're getting married and closing the frock. Shut up, Ray. Look at me. You've just got cold feet. It's perfectly normal. I can't do it, not in front of all those people. Oh, I know. It's scary. A church full of friends and neighbours. But none of those people matter. The only person that matters is Tyler. <gasps> That's why you're here. Oh, love, look at you. <sighs> You're petrified. Oh, you've not got another migraine coming on. What is it? Jump to drive down the block a couple of times. No. <sighs> We're going to sort this out now. Are you really having second thoughts? <sighs> oh. <laughs> Two minutes. That's nothing. I won't even start to get worried until, say, seven minutes. Or maybe ten.
Yeah. Thank you. In the presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of Tyrone and Kirsty, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy and celebrate their love. Marriage is a gift of God in creation through which husband and wife may come to know the grace of God. I'm required to ask anyone present who knows a reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. All clear, Vic. Always a tricky moment. The vows you are about to take are to be made in the presence of God, who is judge of all and knows the secrets of our heart. Therefore, if either of you knows a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. Tyrone, will you take Kirsty to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Kirsty, will you take Tyrone to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, no. honor and protect no, him? No, I said no. Hey? Because this wedding is a fraud. A sick joke. Recognize this? Excuse me, what's going on? Your dirty little secret phone hidden in an old paint can. Let's see. My, you've been busy. <laughs> So many texts, all to the same person. Oh, here's a good one. Can't wait to see you. Counting down the hours. All my love, Tyro. Ah, oh, and another. Dreading the wedding. Wishing I was marrying you instead. <laughs> Think I have always loved you, and I always will. You give me the strength to carry on. So who is it? Who was the secret lover? The woman you'd rather be marrying. Tell you what, let's phone her and find out. No. Shall we? <laughs> let's hope she's got her phone on. <laughs> Mystery solved. What the flaming hell's been going on? Did you know about this? No, I had no idea. Anything to say? Is this true? Fizz, what are you doing? Well, nobody's looking at you anymore. Do you know, I saw this coming a mile off. What does he think he's playing at? Oh, let he was without sin, darling. We're waiting. It's all lies. I I've never seen it before. I don't know what's going on. I just want to marry you. So this isn't your phone? Please, can we just carry on? I don't think that's going to be... You don't want me, you want her! No, I want you. I want us to be a proper family. I know exactly what you want. And I can tell you now, you are never going to get it! <gasps> how old is Fox? Why didn't you tell me? Because I wanted to show everyone what he's really like. Please, you know how I feel about you. You feel nothing for me. This proves it. Well, someone please tell me what's going on. Ask him. He's one having a secret affair with his ex. I'm sorry. His wedding's over. Oh, this is not the way I imagined it last night. Come to me, precious. Kirsty. Let me speak to Tyrone. I think you've caused Just enough trouble. Let me. Please, what were you thinking? I'm so disappointed in you. You really have no shame, do you? Well, you can have him. The two of you deserve each other. I hope you're very miserable together. Kirsty, please. Yes. We were seeing each other, but we had good reason. Just tell everyone the truth now, Ty. Tell everyone what this woman's really like. The truth! This is the truth! Tell them what she does to you! No! Just stay out of this. I love you. I always have, and I always will. It's you that I want to marry. No, Ty, no. Look, I made a mistake, yeah. But please, just marry me. And we can still do this. It's not too late. She's sick. Ty. Look, after everything that's happened, everything that we've been through, stuff that only me and you know about, isn't this what you want? Because it's what I want more than anything in the world. You have hurt me more than I thought anyone ever could. I never want to see you again, do you hear me? No! You leave me and my baby alone. Say goodbye, because you're never going to see either of us again. Oh, Kirsty, please! I swear to God, mate. Kirsty! I'm sorry about this, everybody. Ah! Oh. 
sorry, everyone. I'm really sorry. Oh. Who have you known? You could have talked to me. What do you want to do? Um, we could take you to your mum's if you like. Is there anywhere else you want to go? I don't know what I'm going to do. Where I'm going to live, what I do next, I've no idea. Oh, you poor thing. Uh, I hate to state the obvious, but we can't just sit in the car all day. Well, drive around a bit. Drive where? I don't know, anywhere. It's a waste of petrol. Brian, it'll help calm the baby. Drive. Kirsty! 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 There's no sign of her. Nothing here either. I don't think she's been back. Well, where did she go? Where else would she go? Well, let's just calm down and then think what to do next. This wedding's turned into a total disaster. Don't you think I know that? I'm not a total idiot. Look, Kirk, why don't you go to the pub? Let people know what's happened. I'm well, the best man. I should stay with the groom. Just go to the pub, Kirk, please. Oh, if that's what you want. Let me know if there's any further developments. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, it's mine. So it's true then. He was having an affair with Fizz. Why go through with a wedding if you wanted to be with someone else? And why did you need that money from the garage? Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Because everything's gone wrong. Kirsty's gone, Ruby's gone, and there's not a thing I can do about it. Hey. Yeah? Sorry I'm late. Not late. Five minutes. Look at you, you look so much more grown up than your pictures. I've been looking forward to this moment for so long. Do I get a hug? You're beautiful. You hungry? Not really. What about hot chocolate? There's a cafe in the corner. If there's anything we can do, you know where we are. Thanks for bringing her home. Do you uh, want us to have the kids? Kate is just as minute to come out for a walk. Thanks again, mate. OK. Bye, Fizz. Better best get going. Do you want to tell me what happened? We had no choice. He had to do something. Who had to do what? Tyrone. Kirsty's been, um, physically abusing him. She's a vicious bully, Chess. She didn't put his name on Ruby's birth certificate. That meant he had no rights over his own daughter. Are you sure about that? Yes. I've seen the bruises. We've got photos on his phone. Oh, except she's got it now. So she actually hit him? Yes, it happens, Jazz. And you know Tyrone, he'd never fight back, so he just kept taking it. Beating after beating. So why was he marrying her? Because we thought it was the best way he could get parental responsibility for Ruby. Wait, we? To start with, I was just helping him as a friend. Then we realised we loved each other. He was going to leave us straight after the wedding. No. But now she's found his phone and she's discovered the truth. I think he blames me for everything. <laughs> So then she takes out the phone and starts reading out text between Tyrone and Fizz. He was in here, we were all wishing him well. So, all that time he was carrying on with Fizz, yeah? Yeah, well, it might not be that simple. Well, it seems simple to me. Where's Tyrone now? He's at home, but he's not in a good mood. This is the second wedding buffet I've done that's gone pear-shaped. You jinxed, babes. What are we going to do with all this food? I'm going to eat it. Yeah. So, I told you before, remember? Right? Fizz got a finger stitched, yeah? And she blamed Kirsty for it. Then, eventually, she admitted that she was in love with Tyrone and that she was just trying to split him up. That's when me and Rob decided we had to get rid of her. Well, it's always the quiet ones you've got to watch. Do you have to be so judgmental? No, no. I'm just relieved it's not me who's in the spotlight for once. Mm, yeah, listen. 
Speaking of Rob, please, can we just discuss this new situation no, in the office? No, 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 we can't. No, I'm sorry, but if you don't like it, you know what we can do. Oh, not very much. Did you know what was going on, Kurt? I'm always the last to find out. I'm beginning to suspect that's why he picked me to be his best man. I'm hardly surprised. I live next door. I can hear him round through the wall. Really? Mm. I can't believe Tyrone was having an affair with Fizz. She's a dark horse. You never know what's going on behind closed doors. Well, I knew things weren't right between Tyrone and Kirsty. So I heard him rowing in the backyard. This is while she was pregnant. And there was a scuffle. I come up and she's lying on the ground with a cut on her face. What, are you saying that Tyrone hit her? Well, she said she slipped. Mm. We've heard that excuse a million times before, haven't we? I had to fetch Dr Carter to her. Not Tyrone. Well, when you think of all the terrible things he's been through, people change. Stuff that's still here. Some more, I don't think she'll be bothered about that now. Let's go. We had a wedding dress all week. You can't see what's happened here. Oh, I can see she caught you playing away with Fizz. Hang on, are you going to sit here and lecture me about having an affair? I want to understand. Nobody understands. I can try. I was going to run away with Fizz after the wedding. I was only marrying Kirsty to get rights to Ruby because she left me off the birth certificate. Why did she do that? Because she's a bully. Well, stand up to her. <laughs> yeah, it's that simple, isn't it? The truth is, she hits me, right? She gets angry and she takes it out on me. She's been doing it for ages. I tried to stop her, I tried to help, but nothing worked. And the thing is, I'm not even bothered that she hits me, but what if she hits Ruby? Sometimes she's so out of control. Are you serious? Yeah. Why did you let her get away with it? I don't let her. See, I knew you wouldn't understand. The only reason I stayed with her was for Ruby. And now she's gone. I think you should go to the police. What, and you, you think they'll believe me? I believe you. No, it's too late. She's gone. And I'm just as bad. Lying and cheating. Saying vows in a church that I didn't even mean. Where's that got me, eh? Just go. You shouldn't be on your own. I'm fine. You're not fine. It's deja vu, this, isn't it? Eh? I lose a partner and a baby and you're stood here with me again. Come on, Ty. Just leave me alone. I want to be on my own. All right, well, if you need anything, call me. And if you don't want to call me, call Sam. A lot of people around here care about you, Ty, don't. Don't forget that. Nick will be one. Not Owen, he's a man. I can't keep driving around. Think of the environment. Brian, this is an emergency. Will you please... Take me home. Please take me home. Are you sure? Why don't you come home with us? Brian can go and get your stuff and some things for Ruby. I want to go home. Well, yeah, but what about... Her own? Yeah. I've got to face him one day. He might not be there. He might be with Fizz. I don't know. I've got to sort out what to do. Yeah, but there's no rush. I want to. Please. It's what she wants. <sighs> Leave me in a pub full of wedding guests. I'll only be five minutes. No, I need you here. We've still got the rings. Do you think the jeweler will give him a refund? I don't know. Hey, do you want to hear my speech? You what? My best man speech. I worked on it for days. Oh, not now, eh? Right, I better get back to work. I've left Ailey on her own. Are you sure I can't tempt you to spend a lazy afternoon at the flat with me? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sure. Oh. Hey, you go easy on Michelle and me in that. All right, Mum. Rob. Oh, go on then. Go on then, what? I will let you buy me a drink. Well, I've already paid for your taxi. Ah. Well, stalking me costs money, you know. Oh, right, yeah, because I thought that you were stalking me. Uh, why would I want to do that? I don't know, but every time I turn around, there you are. Well, maybe you're just looking. Maybe I am. Yeah, I must be getting old. Nothing shocks me anymore. Oh, me neither. 
Oh, will be. She doesn't deserve any of this. Kids are very resilient. Have to be. Oh. Come on, let's go. Ah, uh, where's Fizz? Well, we left her with Chesney. He says he'd give us a call, let us know how she was. Mm. What about Kirsty and the baby? Went off with Julie and, um... Brian. Brian. Oh. Oh, I don't know. You get a glimpse into other people's lives and all of a sudden your own family doesn't seem quite so crazy. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. Where have you been? She needs a bed. Okay. I thought you'd gone. I thought I was never going to see Ruby again. Gone? Oh, no. I'll finish with you. Not by a long chalk. What's the matter? Scared I'm gonna beat a confession out of you. When was the last time I laid a finger on you? I don't know. Go on, when? I don't know. Not for over a month. Because I was happy. A change, you see. I thought you loved me. I do love you. I knew you were seeing her, but you kept denying it with your butter wouldn't melt act. No, but I wasn't. I, I wasn't even with her then. It was over. That's why I wanted to marry you. You weren't marrying me because you loved me. You were marrying me to get Ruby. No. And then you were going to leave me and take her with you. No, no, you've got it wrong. No, you're the one who's got it wrong. You think I was so stupid that I wouldn't figure it out? Mind you, you, you did pretty well. You actually had me fooled there for a while. What an idiot, eh? I'm sorry. Is Hope all right? Yeah, she's back out. Bless her. Anna said she could babysit later if we needed. He's never gonna see his baby again, is he? He's never gonna see her grow into a toddler. Never gonna hear her call him daddy. It's all my fault. No, it's his fault. He should have never got you involved. No, he didn't want me to, Chaz. It was me that insisted, thinking that I knew best, thinking that I could sort it all. Yeah, well, it's not wrong with trying, is there? But all I've done is make things worse. He must hate me. I think I was going to cancel the wedding because I didn't feel worthy of you. No wonder you're so desperate to persuade me not to. Looking me in the eye and telling me you love me. I hate you doing it, honest. So why did you? Because I had no choice. Yeah, I've hurt you. But not half as much as you've hurt me, so don't try and make me feel guilty now. Was it her idea, all this? But it was, I bet she planned the whole thing. No. So we took these, then? Not you, unless you can do contortions. <sighs> Must have been a buzz. Taking these with you stripped to the waist. But it was a real turn on for you both. Bruce has put us off, actually. So, why'd you take him? Because it's not the kind of thing you put in a family album, is it? More the sort of thing you keep as evidence, am I right? Coming useful for the divorce. Except that was a waste of time, since we're not even married now. You can use them for the custody battle. Give it to me now. They just feel really, really sorry for you, these, wouldn't they? <laughs> Except it's vanished. Delete. 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 All gone. Never even know they existed. Such a waste. What are you going to do with the wedding cakes? I don't know. Raffle it off. Oh, yeah, Eva, because that would be really sensitive. Chuck it in the bin where it belongs. You know what really gets me? We were doing fine till she stuck her oar in. How can you say that? Things were terrible for me, at least. I needed someone to talk to, and she was there. Oh, I bet she was. Pouring sympathy in one ear and poison down the other. She's always hated me. Well, can you blame her? After what you did to her? Not that again. It's not my fault she trapped a stupid hand in that machine. 
She's really got you brainwashed, hasn't she? Don't try to deny it. I heard you admit it. What? I was there at Fizzy's house when you came round. I was hiding in the kitchen. And I heard you tell her that it'd get worse if she didn't back off. I was trying to protect our relationship. And clearly I was right to if you're already round there in her bed. Well, I wasn't, if you must know. I was there defending you. I didn't think you could be so cruel. Can you believe that? While you was beating me black and blue. She drove me to it. Worming away back into your life, trying to split us off. That's when I realised what you were. You nasty, vindictive bully. You just too blind to see. And that is when I fell out of love with you. Don't say that. It's true. Only because she's poisoned you against me. You know what? I'm glad I mangled our hand in that machine. I just wish it had been something permanent. I wish I crippled her for life. Now there's a thought. Don't you dare lay a thought. Oh, and what? What are you going to do, big money? Eh? As pathetic as that. Go on! Hit me! This time I'll show them all the marks. Then they'll know what you really like. It's funny, isn't it? For months, I've lived in fear here. And now look at you. I'm not scared at all. And that is what Fizz has done for me. She's stolen you, that's what she's done. She's turned you against me. She's stopped me feeling useless and guilty. And she's made me feel loved again. I love you! Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you do in your own way. But it's twisted love. And I don't want it anymore. How can you say that? You loved me once. Yeah, I loved you. I loved you with all my heart. I'd have done anything for you. But you beat that love out of me bit by bit. So don't blame Fizz for this. And don't blame me. Fizz, you OK? What, like she's the injured party and all this? She's the only one on the scheme. I just wanted to check how Tyrone is. Gutted. Kirsty's gone. I'm taking the baby with her. Is he still mad at me? Oh, I'll have to ask him that. He is, isn't he? <laughs> Come on. Come get your brandy. Come on. Two wounded soldiers, eh? Maybe that's why we got on. Maybe. Did I tell you? My mum took me to hospital once with a broken collarbone. Goes without saying him, my dad did it. I was ten and I'd been pestering him for a dog. This way of saying no. Anyway, we were sat in the hospital waiting room and I begged her to tell him it was him. She wouldn't. Said I'd fallen off my bike. I actually remember her laughing with the doctors. Kids, eh? It's a thing, you see. You can't trust anyone. They always let you down in the end. I wouldn't have. Maybe not. How can I be sure? I mean, you've got to keep some kind of control over things, haven't you? What kind of relationship is that? Only sort I've ever known. I guess that's it then. I'll pack my bags. Well, you stay. At least until you sort some out. I'll go. Do you guess as to where? Sorry. I, I do want to ask one thing though. What? I know this is going to be really, really hard. But I want you to let me take Ruby. <laughs> we both know it's for the best. No. I've told you I love her, I wouldn't hurt her. Yeah, well, you felt like that about me once. Yeah, well, she wouldn't lie to me or betray me. Except she will. I mean, when she gets older, she'll be sneaking out to see some lad. Or, or she'll give you a bit of lip and then what, eh? She gets her fat lip back. I can't take that risk. And if you really love her, then you can't either. I don't believe this. If you have an affair, then dump me. Then you expect me to hand Ruby over as well. Has Kev gone to Jack and Ty? He's calling Sophie and making sure Jack's OK. Or do you think maybe he should? Tyrone's a big lad. He can look after himself. <sighs> look at him. Oh, the nerve. Julie. Are you celebrating, are you? Hey, just leave it with you. You should be ashamed of yourself. That poor girl is in tatters because of you. We've been driving her around for hours, haven't we, Brian? We have. Half a tank of petrol. Where did she go? 
Where's she taking Ruby? She hasn't taken her anywhere. She has gone to talk things through with Tyrone. What? That's what this is all about, isn't it? No! All that sympathy acting like you care, she's another place that's wrong with me rent! Get out! Oh, I'm going. But I'm taking her with me. Oh, no, you're not! Do you think we ought to go round there and check that she's all right? No wonder they're rowing. She's just found out he's been having an affair. Yeah, but... We'll the be... last thing they need is you marching round there. Right, I'm going round. Will you just leave them to it? Yes, you've done enough, damn it. We'll come with you. Uh, where do you think you're going? I am not leaving her with you! She's all I've got left! You are not having her! That little girl is... Hang on! I'm doing this for her! You're doing it for yourself, but I won't let you! Yeah. Ty! What's happened? We had an awful thought. No, no, Ty! Move, move, move. God, what have you done to her? She just fell. Just call an ambulance. What happened? We, we was rowing at the top of the stairs and she tried to hit me, but she just fell. Yeah, right. I swear to you, it was an accident. Kirsty, can you hear me? Kirsty. I knew something was going on between her and Tyrone. I told you, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I wish she'd never got caught up in all this mess. She, has, she was only trying to help him. Well, she was only trying to help Stip and all. Look what happened there. I'm sick of blokes taking advantage of her. She's going to be OK. Mm. Like you, Ken. Oh, shut up, Eileen. Does anyone want to come with her? Just one person, I'm afraid. I've got to stay here with my daughter. I'll go. I'll ring you later. What's happened? Kirsty had a fall. Well, she was pushed. It's like a broken record, you. Ignore her. She fell. Why won't any of you believe me? We do, Ty. Just get lost, will you? You don't need all this. Come on. Do you want me to stay with you? Would you? Yeah. Of course. Right, we better go. Face Stella. I'm so glad you're OK. I was worried sick when I found out she'd come back. Do you think she'll be all right? I don't know. Well, it was my fault. She was upset that I was trying to take Ruby. I should have handled it better. Ty, you can't blame yourself. She lost her balance because she was trying to hit you. Again. Yeah, I know. Oh, next time you dash off on some mercy errand, you check with me, all right? Yeah, I'm sorry. You've been gone ages. Yeah, because she had an accident. What? She fell down the steps. Yeah, they're just taking her to the hospital now. Oh, that poor girl, as if today wasn't enough for her. Yeah, but it Teenagers. Wasn't... Leave you. I know this is going to sound mad. What? But Eileen and Deirdre were saying earlier that... Well, they reckon that Tyrone's been violent to Kirsty. You <laughs> what? Well, they've heard things, apparently. They've seen things. What if she's in the hospital because of him? We couldn't be more wrong. Look, don't say this to anyone else, but it's cursed he's been hitting Tyrone. <laughs> don't be daft. So, yes, he told me when I took him home. What, and you believe him? Why would a bloke make someone like that up? I don't know, because they feel guilty. Oh, come on. This is Tyrone we're talking about. Yeah, well, he has been through a lot, Kevin. His wife had an affair with another man. Me, you mean? Yeah, and then he finds out that his baby's not even his baby. Maybe it's made him look at women differently. Maybe he feels he can't trust them anymore. Can't say I blame him. I feel the same way about men. Julie? Hi. Oh, how are you feeling? Hurt. <sighs> Here. Yeah, that's because you've broken some ribs. Where, where's Tyrone? Is he here? No, he's at home with Fizz. You had an accident, do you remember? A nasty fall. I remember. I didn't fall, Tyrone pushed me. So Eileen was right. 
Get the police. She's settled now. Thanks. What was all that about with Hailey? She can't really think that I pushed her. No, of course not. She was just upset. Seeing the way they was all looking at me. They think I did it. Well, just ignore them. When they've had time to think, they'll soon realise how daft they're being. I hope so. She found the photos. Deleted them in front of my face. No. She's thought of everything. There's no way I'm going to get Ruby now. Don't say that. At least you've got her now while Kirsty's in hospital, eh? Gives us time to work something out. So you were on the stairs at the time? We'd had a massive row. Then he suddenly shoved me really hard and that's when I fell. My sister heard it all from next door. She went round and found him standing over her. Well, I'll need to hear his side of the story, of course. Talk to any witnesses. Only it's not the first time he's done something to me. If there are any other incidents, you were best telling us about them. It's hard. I've never talked about it before. You can do this. I'm here for you. It's been going on for months. Just <laughs> silly things at first. It just, he'd snap if I ironed his shirt wrong or he'd shout if he didn't like the tea I cooked for him. Only one day it wasn't a shout, it was a slap. Then next time he whacked me in the face with a ladle. I had a split lip and I, and I couldn't leave the house for a few days while they healed her. I, I didn't want anyone guessing I was ashamed. Well, it was him that should be ashamed, not you. Did you keep any records, dates and things? No, why would I? It was my husband. As good as. He promised he'd change and I wanted to believe him in it. You must think I'm pathetic. No. I think you should get some rest now and we'll talk again in the morning, OK? But what about my baby? I'm worried of what he might do if he's left on his own with her. Has he been violent towards her? Not yet, but he's lost his temper with her and, and now he's done this, who knows what he might do next. I, I'm not prepared to risk it. Don't worry. We'll send an officer around straight away. Is there someone who could look after her? Well, I will. I'd be glad to. Tyrone could still grab her. You, you need to put her in temporary foster care. Uh, take her off him. I'm not trying to do your job for you. It's just... I used to be a copper, so I know, I know the system. Right. Don't you have any relatives? No one I can leave her with. No, this is the only way I can be sure she's safe, and it's just till I'm better. What sort of social worker to go around with them? If you're sure, then that's what you want. I'm sure. Well, you saw him. If he was that innocent, why didn't he go in the ambulance with her? Uh, because she's been beaten with a daylight out. Really? No, not that again. Not really? No, the other way around, more like. Don't listen to it, it's true. Yeah, Fizz said the same. But she'll say anything to protect him, won't she? Are you calling my sister a liar? I think we should just all calm down. Yeah, so do I. All I'm saying is that I live next door to them. I've heard what's going on, and Deirdre's seen stuff and all. Like what? I don't think we need the gory details. Yeah, because there aren't any. Apart from the ones curse has been inflicting. Unbelievable. Yeah, and what do you think, Sean? You seem very quiet. Sean, tell him. Tyrone's not like that. Well, he has been through a lot, and I suppose it can do funny things to people. Oh, no, you and all. Look, well, just drop it, Tina. Come on, I'm not standing round here listening to this. Do you think Fizz is safe with him? Yeah, of course. Look, Tyrone's a victim, not Kirsty. I've seen the marks. Get your drinks. She's probably just a bit unsettled with everything that's gone on. Yeah. She'll be fine. Well, sure. It's not like I can protect her now. Yeah, you can. It'll just take longer, that's all. We'll get you a really good solicitor. And you've still got me. You've got Tina and Tommy to back you up. I suppose. Yeah. And that time I took you to hospital, eh, to get your arm checked out. They're gonna still have it on record. Yeah, you're right. We can still fight her, can't we? Yeah. And maybe it's best that it's out in the open means we can take her to court and do it properly. Yeah, exactly. And it means me and you don't have to hide anymore. Yeah. We can be a proper couple. Yeah. And when I get a custody of Ruby, we'll be a proper family. Yeah. 
That's the spirit. I'll get it. And don't you worry. Daddy's gonna look after you. I won't let anybody take you off me. Hello, I'm PC Smith. Can I come in, please? Why? What's happened? What's wrong? Is Kirsty OK? Tyrone Dobbs? Yeah. Just need to ask you a couple of questions. Could you hand the baby to our colleague here? Why? I'll just hold a few while you talk. No. She's fine here with me. What is this? What do you want? I'm arresting you on suspicion of assaulting Kirsty Soames. What? You do not have to say anything, but it may be your defence if you fail to mention when questioned something which you'll let her rely on in court. Has she said anything this? Anything you say may he be He hasn't done evidence. anything. It was an accident. Do you understand? No, no, you've got it all wrong. You can't arrest me. What about my baby? I'm Harriet Lithgow from Social Services. We're putting Ruby in temporary foster care whilst her mother's in hospital. You're not taking her anywhere. It's at her mother's request. Some mother? You know it's her that Ruby shouldn't be with, not him. If you'd like to hand her over. No! Oh, come, come on, on lad, you're coming with us. Please, please. get off please. his door! Please. Come on, lad, please! Please, please. 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 don't take it! Oh, don't do come this! On, sir. Come get on, get out of here! Please! please. Come on. Let me go! Please! I just want to see Ruby! What's happened? You're a hideous person! Ruby! You're a hideous person!